Hello seniors, it's good to be back with you once again. The reason uh, we do these videos is so that we can socially connect. I am a burden for the seniors, for your health, but also for your social welfare. And uh, that's why I would like to do this video or do a video on a regular basis. On the email that you have received, we have included a feedback button. If you would like to email us any questions that you have about the, the study or any other questions that you might have, I encourage you to uh, take advantage of this. I'd like to give you a few words of encouragement from Romans chapter 8 this morning, a passage that I'm sure many, if not all of you, are familiar with from Romans 8, 35 to 39. And I'd like to give some excerpts from that passage and comment on them. Paul writes, Who shall separate me from the love of Christ? Shall trouble, hardship, persecution, famine, nakedness or destitution, danger or sword? No, in all these things we are more than conquerors, or we are super conquerors. We will prevail completely, is the idea of that through him who loved us. Paul goes on to say, for I am convinced, I am sure, this is an assured fact that neither life nor death, nor angels or demons of the present or future or anything in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Sometimes we need passages like this to help us gain our equilibrium in life in regards to what's happening in recent days, maybe these words can give you some stability, provide some stabilizing principles. No matter the pressures, no matter the struggles, future threats, suffering, scarcities of life, or the ugly facts of this world, nothing can separate us from the protecting love of God that is found in Christ Jesus our Lord. As John Piper puts it, Jesus Christ is mightily loving his people with omnipotent, moment-by-moment -moment love that does not always rescue us from our calamities, but will help us to persevere for everlasting joy in his presence, even in suffering and death. Jesus loves us not because there is anything inherently good or lovable in us, but he loves us simply because he is God and God is love. The pinnacle of victory is accomplished only through Jesus Christ who loved us. Apart from Jesus Christ, there is only defeat. So be encouraged, my friends, about God's powerful, overwhelming love for us. His love doesn't spare us from troubles, but it preserves us through them. This engaging love enables us to experience joy and peace without resentment, without despondency in the midst of our adversities and hardships of life. This love of Christ is really something Let's never forget it. Let's pray. We are amazed, Father, by your wonder. We're amazed by your majesty and your incredible grace that you would stoop down so low to provide for us by completely ensuring that our joy in Christ would not be jeopardized by the twists and turns of evil in this world. That you care so deeply and paid such a great price for us to bring us a secure salvation. This love is truly incredible. It's amazing. It's all about your grace and for your glory, Father, that we pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Until we meet again, so long. I wish you all God's best. Goodbye.